Hi, this is Mr. Nazarian. We're going to continue our uh, review of skills that are going to help us with our performance tasks this week. Today's learning objectives, I can add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators, 5th grade standard NF1, and I, sorry, I can use what I know about multiplication to multiply whole numbers by a fraction of the 5th grade standard NF4. All right, so did this yesterday. We're going to uh, look at it one more time here. So if I have 2 fifths times 3 tenths, those are unlike fractions, meaning that their denominators are not the same. They're different size pieces. So again, we need to find um, a denominator that is the same. So that means we need to find a common multiple. So if I look at 5 and 10, um, hopefully you notice right away that, oh, well, 10 is a multiple of 5. So make them both 10. 3 tenths is already tenths, so I don't need to do anything with that. I just need to change 2 fifths to an equivalent fraction that has 10 as the denominator. Um, 10 is the second multiple of 5, so I'm going to multiply this by 2 on the bottom. Again, that means I have to do the same thing on the top. So I'll multiply by 2 on the top. It's going to be 4. So 2 fifths is equivalent to 4 tenths. So when I'm adding 4 tenths plus 3 tenths, the size pieces we're talking about, right? The denominator is going to stay the same. So I'm still talking about tenths. It's just how many of them, which is what the numerator tells us. So four of them plus another three of them gives us seven. Seven tenths. Okay. And then, so that's unlike adding unlike fractions. And then um, for multiplying uh, fractions, or multiplying a whole number times a fraction, we did this the other day or to review. So it's like saying six groups of two-fifths or two-fifths of six. Either way, it looks the same. So you'll see I have six rectangles here. Each one is shaded in two of the five sections that's been uh, broken up into. So I broke them into fifths, right? Um, took this rectangle, now it's in five pieces, equal pieces. And then I shaded in two of them. So two-fifths, another two-fifths, another two-fifths, and so on. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve-fifths. So it is, if I have six groups of two-fifths, it's the same as having, that means I have 12 fifths. And to simplify that, so um, I, I kind of like to look at, I mean, you can look at it as how many times does five go into 12? It goes in two times, right? Which would be 10, and then there's two more, right, to get to 12. So two and two-fifths. Um, also, I have to look at it as, well, that 12 fifths, is the same as, sorry about my messiness here, 12 fifths is the same as 5 fifths and another 5 fifths, which is 10 fifths, and then another 2 fifths. So I've got 5, 10, 12 fifths, right? And as we know, when the numerator and the denominator are the same, that's equal to one whole. So I've got one, two whole, plus another 2 fifths. So 2 and 2 fifths, and that's how you multiply uh, whole numbers and fractions. Okay, look forward to using these skills on our, well, as we work through our performance test tomorrow. See you then.